Hey everybody, today I'm going to be going through how to make easy money in your first spring. This money making guide will help ensure that you're setting yourself up for success. So let's get started. On day one, you'll be given some parsnip seeds and 500 gold. Head over to Pierre's and spend your money on parsnips. This is because the parsnips only take four days to grow, therefore their XP to gold ratio per day is actually better. We'll be getting potatoes later on. Head back to the farm and plant all the seeds you have. On day two, you'll get a letter from Willie in the mail. Head to the dock and get your fishing rod right away. What you want to do is catch a few fish with it and go sell them to Willie. Throw that bamboo rod in the ocean because you will not be needing it. Purchase the training rod for the 25 gold. This is one of the best investments you will ever make. Yes, you will only catch basic fish, but catching fish at this time isn't what is valuable. Getting perfect catches is. The training rod gives you a much larger bar, making perfect catches much easier for you. Set up on the river and put a chest down to eliminate the storage problem. No need for the backpack right now. Keep fishing using that training rod until you get to level 5 fishing, which usually takes about 3 days depending on how good you are. Make sure that you are maintaining those original crops you planted before heading out fishing every day. Once you reach level 5 fishing, purchase the fiberglass rod from Willy for 1800 gold. You will also be able to sell fish for 25% more gold now. You can make your way up to the mountains and fish there. And once again, place a chest down to store everything you catch. Once those original crops are done, go to Pierre's and sell them. And purchase as many potato seeds as you feel comfortable watering every day. Also, you want to make sure you have a parsnip, potato, green bean, and cauliflower to fulfill the community center bundle, as this will reward you with some speed grow. We'll go over this later on in the video. Keep fishing near the mountain and maintain your crops for now. Once the potatoes are finished, sell them in the last few days before the egg festival, keep fishing and you should reach at least level 6 fishing by then. At this point, you would have caught a lot of nice fish and make sure that on day 12 to sell all your fish and you will make a lot of cash. The morning of day 13, make sure to prepare your farm before heading to the egg festival as you'll need to plant some seeds before going to bed that night. Buy as many strawberry seeds as you are comfortable with, but I would suggest saving at least 7,500 gold, which I'll explain later. That night, plant all your strawberry seeds and go to bed. Now your crops are all done for spring, just make sure to water those strawberries every day and you'll get some serious profit from them. Also, with that speed grow, you'll now be able to get two harvests in that same spring. With the money you have left over, go to Willy and purchase the iridium rod and the trap bobber. The trap bobber makes fishing much easier as it reduces the ability for a fish to escape. To equip the bobber, right click on it and then right click on the rod. Now you are set to make a ton of money with fishing and from your crops. Another way to make some nice side cash is selling tea saplings which can be attained by getting Caroline to two hearts. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below to see more content just like this one.